imposter. It's no use, imposter. The imposter goddess and her imposter instruments. The imposter. Why must you poison the English language? <laughs> Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous is an indirect sequel to Pathfinder Kingmaker, which I never played, but I did play the actual Kingmaker system, where the lead player was eventually turned into a shish kabold. This leaves me in the perfect unbiased situation to review this video game. Unfortunately, I'm being paid to make this video, and what do you get when you combine a review with a monetary interest? Games journalism. A huge thank you to Alcat Games for sponsoring today's IGN 10 out of 10. Don't trust the water. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous is out now, and you can find it by clicking on the link in the description. What is Wrath of the Righteous? Well, where Kingmaker had you forging a kingdom, Wrath has you... Deus Ruto. In the name of God! leading the fifth crusade against the invading armies of demons. There are nine mythic paths to power that you can choose in order to gain the strength needed to evict these illegal tenants. In no specific order except for that the last one is the best one, we have Lich. Because dying is cringe. I do not watch bad TV shows, I don't know this one. Excuse me, DM, I would like to take a level in Dragon. This one that works. Demon. Wait, what? Aeon. Your goal is to kill Doctor Who. Take a rip of the Halfling's Leaf, then murder some children. And lastly, Legend. Because you are simply built different. I haven't played tabletop in years because having friends is illegal and the last living person in my neighborhood keeps ignoring me. So it's time to delve into the computer friends that are real, mother. You can stop worrying about me. I swear the Roomba needs its own room. Its name is Delta. In order to make our character, we had to find something appropriate to represent them. And I, of course, chose this picture of me from like three years ago due to this happening when my accountant brought me on his tax show. Man, man. <laughs> I am a monk who exists to do only one thing punch demons. I worship the perfect mortal in the knowledge that I shall one day become him. Hang on a moment, I need to check the email they sent me. They told me who I could romance in the email. One moment. Damn it, she's not one of the romanceable options! The game opens with you showing off at a festival so hard that Demon Lord of Locusts is summoned and you get thrown into a pit. Fucking sewer levels. I like that of the seven romance options in the game, you have the option to immediately kill two of them at the start. She's got a wife! Fuck! Listen, it's a world of magic. If needed, I will become a woman, woman. Canonically, that half dragon, half man fucked that spider. You rise out of the caves that you spent a surprising amount of time in to find the city already in ruin. And you get your first meeting with Team Rocket. You again, you wench! Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, celebrity on Twitter. After the battle, you awaken in a tavern that harbors the last resistance against the forces of evil that occupy the city. Hey, wait a second. Holy shit, we're fighting Skaven. So the struggle to retake Canabras begins. Traveling out to find new companions, solve quests, and loot every single weapon in order to fund my potion addiction. You also get to meet Ember, who is the most powerful person in Galarian after the commander. I'm not talking about her class or like, you'll see later. Then you and the Baker boys came up with the game where you all threw stones at me. <laughs> wow, I just killed my entire party. Things come to a head as you storm the Grey Garrison and head up to the Wardstone to make one of the first big decisions of the game. This is your first moment of unlocking mythic powers. I, of course, chose the Instrument of Freedom. freedom is the only way After punching a big rock, you are given direct command of the Fifth Crusade by the Queen herself. The mission now is to capture Dresden and retake the initiative by finally assaulting into the world wound that the demons call home. You command the Crusaders' actual armies in a Heroes of Might and Magic style battle, but listen up. I'm about to preach the truth here. Look at these dragons. You think they're strong? Watch this breath weapon. It killed like one guy. See these demons? Bet they're unstoppable. Literal angels from the heavens? No! There is one single threat that all must fear on the battlefield, and it is archers. Much like how artillery statistically kills most soldiers in war, these archers will fucking obliterate enemy stacks with a single action. Your entire army should be built around letting these archers shoot as much as possible. There's three tiers of units. Useless, okay, and archers. Later on, you can upgrade your archers to marksmen. Do it. Do you want to know how good marksmen are? They're so good that late game, I just split them into two stacks so I could fire more often and avoid wasting the insane damage they deal on overkill. I beg you, above all else, 
Do not pick any unit that has high HP and defense, but no attack. There is no zone of control, there is no taunt, and there is no moon landing. Follow my instructions and you will win battles without losing a single man. Oh, you must have heard the recent story from the Stolen Lands in the River Kingdoms. Gee, I wonder where I could read all about that. This video now sponsored by both Pathfinder games. Hold in a second, I searched through here and I found horse armor. I found the Tomb of Oblivion. What? That really pisses me off. Holy shit, what an army. Don't worry guys, our commander's just gonna go handle it alone. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's told us she can take seven incubi at once. You meet Team Rocket again after they airstrike your camp with gargoyles and you go to beat the shit out of them. They tried to fight me, but it's a shame. I am me, the protagonist of reality. <laughs> Did you see Nelkaneth's face? How unfortunate when your opponent gets new powers in the middle of a fight! <laughs> the Grand Assault on Dresden begins, and I immediately trusted someone who I literally had already proven to be a traitor. Oh, she was a traitor, right. I should have probably suspected that, considering I found the perfume. I'm sorry, but while looting your tent, I found evidence that you're actually the person who tried to get me eaten by Vesicors. I may be stupid. I'm like... I'd like to say that, you know, oh, I was doing the whole dungeon thing anyway is a bit of a trick, but no, no, I just forgot that she was like almost certainly a traitor because it didn't let me accuse her of being a traitor. So I was like, eh, it must be someone else. Thankfully, we adopted the United States Marine doctrine of simply kill the ambush and carried on with one of the coolest battles of the game. First though, we had to release the best girl this game has to offer, Arushale. We'll see a lot more of her later. I've just found a statuette of a Triceratops. Oh my God, I have a Triceratops. You plant your flag at the top of Dresden. The Crusader armies hailing your victory as the demons flee in terror. This must be pretty close to the end of the game, right? <laughs> this is only 20 hours into an 80 plus hour game. You now get to choose your mythic path, and I chose Trickster as a monk. Don't choose Trickster as a monk. You will become chaotic whether you like it or not, which means that you will get kicked out of the dojo. This resulted in me rebuilding as a barbarian pack rager instead, because if I couldn't punch a god in the face, then I wanted to at least get so angry that he couldn't kill me. I also ended up rebuilding Nenio and Ember, since I was getting my shit rocked by Team Rocket in a few other fights. I wondered why the default feat choice for them included Precise Shot, which specifically says it's for use with ranged weapons and their magic users. Ember even has a natural debuff to using any weapon. I was told that apparently Spell Spells like Scorching Ray count as a weapon in Pathfinder. I googled this and apparently it's been a hot debate for ages, but you know, we never played it like that back in 3.5. However, if you are to believe that precise and point blank shot applies to a Scorching Ray, then so too must Deflect Arrow and Snatch Arrow. They only specify that you need to be targeted with a ranged weapon, the same text as the other feats. So Owlcat, I must ask, why can I not snatch Scorching Rays out of the air and throw them back at the offending nerd? As for the class builds, pro tip, anything that lets them overcome spell resistance, you want it. You will hit a certain point in the game where nearly every enemy will have a minimum spell resistance of like 20 to 25 and insanely high ACs. I went from having my ass handed to me nearly every fight to rebooting these two into gods of damage and control. Spawning a pit is always the best strategy. After Dresden, the crusade mode evolves slightly as you can now upgrade outposts with various buildings while issuing decrees and orders from Dresden. Most of the questing in this area consists of putting out fires, hunting down demon commanders, and also finding second best girl murdering a dude. Camellia? Oh. How lovely to see you here. Oh boy, okay. Think, think for a moment. You're the hero of the crusade! You're gonna be a good boy! And you're gonna stop the evil killing! And you're gonna save everyone! And oh no, she's hot! She's hot! She's hot! Complete your ritual! This will not take long. <laughs> um... Oh! Bodies and she's a cannibal. Soul. My ritual is quite a taxing <laughs> process. The strain what? is difficult to bear. Sex is the best way to relieve the tension once it is all over. I don't think that has anything to do with the ritual. I just think she gets really horny from eating flesh. Not gonna complain about it though. Next. Please. I need you <laughs> here, now. And besides, I do believe you've been trying to express your admiration for me for some time. So come, don't hold back. I want you. Am I gonna die? Please kill me. Thank you. 
Wow. I never thought that the commander would turn out to be so <laughs> minded. I like that I can literally just have had sex with her, walk outside, and then go, Anavia, kill her. Guess I'm gonna have to go get chaotic and lose my monk powers. Goodbye. See, I'm the lawful trickster. I do things like pranking you by planting drugs on you right when we go for the bust. No, don't go in the pit, idiot. Oh, why do you always go in the pit? Get out of the pit. Get out of the pit. I don't want you in the pit. Get out of the pit. I swear to God, if you get in the pit, I will end you. You know what? Put her in a pit. There we go. She's in a pit. Now we're both in a pit. Fuck. I don't think I can attack her when she's in the pit. Why did I make so many pits? Harvey Dent. Scary face. <gasps> Two face. Hey, dudes. What's up? Who are you guys? Did you just throw a fucking rock at me? Nope. Nope, I've seen hentai. This is a cluster of flexible, elongated, pulsating objects. This knight has the power of tentacles! And just a quick tip, if you go to Blackwater, bring a stun gun. Hey babe, what'd that tail do? Should have listened to your hell knight? Well, I mean, okay. Demons not dream when they sleep. We don't have dreams at all. We have desires and we act on those desires no matter the cost. I had my very own dream! God, she's fucking adorable. Hey, Avoka, have a fish. Ember, yes. you got stolen. Where are you? Wait, these cultists are defending Ember. <laughs> oh my god, we're about to fight on the side of cultists because Ember's too good at convincing people. And I'm unconscious. No, I mean- Oh. Oh! Oh! Anavia, Regal, the guards are all right there! It turns out the enemy's base was actually right beneath Dresden all along, and you storm down there with righteous fury. Monago continues her bullshit game of hiding go heat seeking <laughs> missile as you destroy the demon stronghold. I've found a mirror! Arushale. Oh my god, you're not a vampire. Finally, you're at the portal. One of the entrances to the abyss that allow the demon armies to flood into this world. You, the victorious commander. The sole reason this victory was possible. The reason mort- That is why I am forced to remove you from the command of the Fifth Crusade. The audacity of this bitch. You're finally in the plane of the enemy. The abyss. The dark void of pain and suffering. Afraid this would just be a city with the brightness turned down? Don't worry, Wrath decides to truly immerse you in the abyss. Do you enjoy the Skyrim lockpick minigame? You get to perform it with the camera just to traverse the city. The maps are truly beautiful the first time you cross over them. You will get involved in no less than three psychosexual plots by various demons and also my psycho killer GF as you track and backtrack across a map that would make a second lieutenant shoot themselves. But you can finally corner Monago and beat her to death in a dingy room. By this point of the game, I'd turn the difficulty down from normal, yes, the raw way to play Pathfinder is considered a harder difficulty than normal because I'm actually on a time limit to make this video and I have done literally nothing for the past week but wake up, eat, and play Pathfinder. Swedish furniture lies unbuilt in my house because of this. Hey, Cooked Drake, why don't you help us with this battle? Oh, oh my god, dinner is about to serve you. My god, this is a dishonored level solution. It's like that one where the, uh, the good solution is to send a woman to like, god, the one who wants to kidnap her? Play a magnificent trick on him and turn him into a woman at the hands of brutes, utterly helpless. The funny joke here is even though I'm turning him into a woman, it's actually quite hard to tell Asimov males and females apart. Uh, you know, they both, you know, lack most body hair. Um, the males though have longer ears and the females have bigger cocks. Hey, by the way, Ember wants to talk to you. Ember's trying to make the Lady of Shadows into the Redeemer Queen. You return from the depths of the abyss only to find out the queen who hasn't been able to win the last four crusades decided to keep her record going by losing your fucking capital in the exact same way Staunton Vane did. Oh yeah, and he's back. He's a zombie now. To quote Mutifazen, Dresden has been taken as many times as a whore as you once again recapture it. The city has fallen, retake the city. The city has fallen, the resistance still lives, retake the city. The city has fallen, the resistance still lives, retake the city. God, is this how a Polish person feels? Yes, I am a mortal. I am the commander of the Fifth Crusade. This is my city, my people, and my destiny. <laughs> <laughs> is there always a Triceratops? Wow, that ended quickly. Look at me, I'm stood on her body just flexing. Woo! It's my crusade now, motherfuckers. 
Oh. Wait a second. What the fuck? Did I just summon Iomaday? Guys, I got no idea what the fuck's going on anymore, honestly. It's revealed that your mythic power actually comes from a Relu Vorlesh stabbing you full of demon blood, and you're given the option to reject the power. This is the path of the legend. Because I rejected everything, the Abyss has no power on me. I still have to choose what stat I'm going to resist it with, and I just adore that I'm so fucking ripped that the Abyss has no power over me. I will suplex the very concept of being controlled by evil. You strain your muscles, every part of your body, and unleash a crushing blow on the shadow of the Abyss that has been with you for so many years. I just punched evil. Now it's time to strike out and finish things. Oh my god, coming back here. Do you know how long ago we fought this guy? In this graveyard? And I was like, damn, this is the toughest fight in the game yet. That was like 60 hours ago. Damn, I can declare independence. Oh, I'm gonna do it. This is what I mean when I say I'm built different. We don't have to fight demon, repent and come to our side. Oh. What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> Nocticular just shows up to save Ember. Oh my god, Ember is insanely powerful. Ember next to me is probably the most powerful character in this entire fucking party because she has, just by talking, gotten demons to join the crusade to destroy the world wound. She convinced a demon queen to come and protect her in a battle. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a really good line. You think like the good option is, oh, they call you Saint Ember and Ember the Righteous. Nah, nah, nah. Your father will be proud. Oh, the Archdevil of Hell has shown up. I like that I can just tell them all to fuck off, but no, no, we're definitely gonna do this. Welcome to the crusade. I'm not normal, am I? Babe, I have a list here of normal to not normal and you're currently eating the list. Ah. Uh Hey, she dreams about me. Aww. Oh, the Triceratops! Bismuth! You fucking hero. This one was beyond me. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Discari, but I brought bug spray. Impossible. Be gone from my world, Discari. Whoops, idiot. Bye bye Look at me, just stood there. My warriors look at me. I speak with you openly. I'm not the gods chosen. I don't need the divine to decide my fate, and neither do you. I will lead you as a mortal among mortals, the first among equals. We must think about victory, but we mustn't forget that we are mortals and have but a single life. Once everything is over, I will stay here with you and help to restore peaceful life to these lands. <laughs> Hi, thank you, man. He's being quite polite to me. All right, now to go flirt with my girl. And... Boop! <laughs> it was a little different from my usual sacrifices to Maria, but mass murder does have its own appeal. That is a phrase I'm never going to forget. Holy shit. I wish to confess something else to you. Are you ready? Are you going to tell me that there was no spirits? There is no Maria. Yeah! I made her up. You know what? I've done a lot of dumb shit. Made a lot of bad choices. What's one more bad choice? I'll accept you as you are, you fucking psycho murderer. And also because you like having sex with me. All right, listen, I didn't need to get called out that hard. Oh no. Are we gonna fuck on the altar? You found me. Clever boy. <laughs> now come here and get your reward. Oh, she stabbed me. But I had no other choice. It was the only way oh. to dispel the invisibility effect from both of us. <laughs> Why did you need to make us visible? Did you want us to be seen? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh, she's so fucking stupid. That's her way of like... You know, announce that we have a relationship. Not, you know, just help people. Well, no, just make out on the altar and then stab me. I like how well written this romance is for someone who is just an awful killer. Like, just insane. She just likes killing people. <laughs> Here comes the Suicide Squad. Oh, hey, there's this. Yo, the Sword of Valor is just me. That's so cool. Man, the legend sword is bloody awesome.
<laughs> I think that bookshelf just committed suicide. I wanted to find what was left of my son's soul and give him a new birth. One that would prevent anything from ever harming him again. Oh no, I'm your son, aren't I? M mum mummy it, it is a boss move to kind of like I don't really need your soul fuck off I'm gonna do this myself and then just close the world wound anyway but I really don't like her she needs to die I'm sorry but uh you're not gonna get spared just a step beyond the edge <laughs> Nice work, Tiger. I'm glad you were here to help me. <laughs> He's just running circles around the world wound. Tiger, what are you doing? <laughs> there I am, sipping the victory champagne. Life and death, destiny and great deeds. Answers to mystery, the search for one's true path. The mind can comprehend all of these. And then such concepts can be written down as a sequence of formulas, a series of lines, a chain of thought, some code in a video game, perhaps. Unsurprisingly, he remained the ruler of the city and the surrounding lands after the spectacular victory at the Threshold. Damn right I'm independent. Having declared its independence from Mendev, Dresden became the center of a young and ambitious nation, one that its neighbors had no choice but to reckon with. Nocticula spent many days pondering the words of a certain young- Yes, Ember! Woo! God! Before long, the Lady in Shadow openly renounced her realm and named herself the Redeemer Queen. Oh my god! Ember, you fucking champion! I cannot believe it actually ends that way! God, Ember is too powerful! This revolt against her demonic nature transformed Nocticula, severed her ties to the Abyss, and brought her to Elysium. There, upon creating a realm named Midnight's Pallet, nice, nice, the Redeemer Queen attained divine power, divine power rather, and became the patroness of exiles. God damn it! Camellia just left me after the war. Fuck! <laughs> Man, Wojef got off best here. He was a war hero who started to wear a top hat, a cane, and a bit of a belly. Man, what a, what a champion. Wojef was a good lad. All right. Let's see the after credits. And what of me, the writer of these words? The half-demon witch known as the architect of the world wound. So the entire story is told by Arilo as she tells uh, Far uh, Farazma about, you know, the, the entire story of how she died. That's fucking awesome. I, 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 you know, I know that's a common trope, but I like that because it explains the storybook setting throughout the whole game. <sighs> oh. I shall send you to the abyss, yep. plane of pain and fury, suffering and privation. That which you have done to others will now be done to you. So be it. So that is Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. I give it a, it's ethically wrong to do a paid review out of, this is more of a story equivalent of Homer's Odyssey. Genuinely, how do you compress 87 hours into a video any other way than what I've just done? As I record this, I've just returned from visiting three different vaccine centers to acquire a different power in each, and I can feel the strength they've given me already tearing at the skin containing my mortal form. I'm sorry everyone, but I'm about to create a new world wound. On the plus side, I live in Australia, so no one's going to notice. Have a good one.